What's up everybody? This is Zenix, and we're here for another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the island map. Last episode we tamed this beautiful level 145 RG. And I've been flying around, leveling it up a little bit, collecting some materials. Uh, and today I'd like to go tame some stuff. Uh, and so I've got a couple things on my list. I'd like to tame a doid because we need to start building up this base and making it out of stone rather than thatch. Uh, and a doad is going to help us do that. I'm also going to keep my eye out for a beaver uh, because we're going to need to be able to collect some wood and collect a lot of it and uh, in order to continue the build of the base. And then I'm also kind of thinking about an ankylosaur because I'd like to have a, a better use of this metal mountain here. We've got some metal on this mountain, this hill here, and I'd like to be able to uh, collect metal a lot quicker, get a lot more of it, and bring it back, and we can start building some stuff with it. So, uh, those are the things on my list, but as you know, Ark is always uh, one of those things where you go out with a plan, and you've got an, uh, some things you want to tame. Maybe that plan's going to happen. Maybe it's not. Maybe we'll see something better out there. Uh, so, hope you enjoy the episode. If you do, give me a thumbs up, and... Let's go have some fun. Oh boy, guys. So I found a level 150 beaver. Oh my goodness. So there's one here that's like a level 75. And I just killed a level 35. And there's a level 150 over here somewhere. Which one is it? No, that's a level 15. You can have that crocodile. I think it's this guy. Is this the beaver? Yes, that's a level 150. Okay, sweet! Uh, so, uh, I don't have kibble for these guys because I think they take Galilemus kibble. I do not have any Galilemus. Uh-oh, I'm also running out of stamina. This is not good. Uh, I don't know if I can make it all the way back to the base with that tiny, tiny bit of stamina. Uh, so this beaver will take, um, Mejoberries because I don't have the kibble and uh, I'm not sure how many or the I guess the the amount of mejo berries is not the problem the problem is their torpor drains super quickly and so this is gonna take a while and probably gonna make me stick around and watch this beaver uh, so I hope I'm headed the right way I might need to stop for a stamina boost uh, it's looking like it's going to be like a two hour tame, uh, because I, I don't have the kibble and it's torpor drops in like 11 minutes. So this is going to take a while guys. Um, I, what I did before I left is I removed one of the roofs from the RG taming pen. And so I'm going to drop this guy in there, and then I can knock it out. Uh, one thing for sure is I'm going to have to make sure that I have enough narcotics to keep it down, because I'm going to have to sit there for, like, probably two hours waiting for this guy. Um, I guess I can spend that time collecting uh, stone by hand, and then just have to check on him like every 10 minutes or so so here we are I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to drop him into that little hole I have in the ceiling nope I missed nope missed again still missed Still, oh, so close. Okay, I just destroyed all those ceilings on top of the uh, 
taming pen. Now I'm looking for the beaver again. There he is. Still missed. Oh man! Did he go in there? I got him! Finally! After 13 million tries. Okay. Uh, oh. Got a uh, angry bird over here. I don't know how to say their name. It's like the Rizonosaur. Um, and they get... They can hit pretty hard, so I should probably kill it before it kills me while I'm just kind of wandering around trying to tame this beaver. There we go. Got him. Okay. Now, so I need a couple of things. I need to make sure I have enough narcotics or nar narco berries. It's going to take a lot and then I need to make sure that I have enough measure berries which it's only gonna take like a stack of a hundred but I'll put a couple stacks in there and I need to go check to see how many narcotics I have he should be fine in that taming pen for a little bit <laughs>done collecting all the narco berries with the trike and so now I placed some spoiled meat and those narco berries into the mortar and pestle and started crafting the narcotics and uh, typically it takes one stack of spoiled meat and five stack of narco berries uh, to make a hundred narcotics and I need a ton of narcotics uh, to take care of that beaver and make sure he stays knocked out during this team. So this is me just getting that all set up and uh, getting them crafting Okay guys, I just ran around with the trike and gathered up a bunch of narco berries and started making a lot of narcotics in the mortar and pestle uh, I had I went ahead and I, let's see I already had like three stacks of narcotics and I think it's gonna take at least five um to really uh, to keep this guy knocked out long enough for the tame. Uh, so those are started. I should have enough by the time those finish out. And I just need to check back on this guy every 11 minutes or so once I knock him out. So without further ado, let's go ahead, get it done. trying to attack that wall he can't do any damage to it but he's trying really hard
He should be getting knocked out here pretty soon. Come on, Mr. Beaver. I should say Mrs. Beaver. Let's get you knocked out. All right. Knocked her out. So I'm going to leave those narcotics on her. Throw on a couple of stacks of measure berries. And I'm going to have to come check back ever so often. So in the meantime, I'm probably going to spend some time um, gathering up and collecting some stone and some thatch. Uh, and at least start getting a stockpile of that stuff together so we can start expand. Uh, start building the base out of uh, stone and replacing a lot of those thatch foundations. So uh, once we tame up this uh, beaver, we'll uh, be able to collect wood a lot quicker and a lot more efficiently, which will be awesome. Well, we're checking back in with Mr. Uh, or Mrs. Beaver over here. Uh, her torpor is draining uh, kind of as expected every 10 minutes or so. Um, just trying to keep her narked up. So I'm going to put another... I don't know, let's say like 50, 50 narcotics, uh, about 25 narcotics would get a thousand torpor. So I'm using that just to kind of make a rough estimate. Need about 2000 from 1200 to 3400 roughly. So 50 is the magic number and yay, it'll go up, should go up all the way. And then I'll be back to check on her in just a minute. In the meantime, I've been taking uh, the Triceratops here and um, Mav, the RG, as kind of protector and just collecting some stone and stuff. I am think I'm going to grab a couple of these uh, Parasaurs that I tamed up and take them as well just so they can help carry more stuff. Um, it would be helpful to be able to make fewer trips. Um, but I'm just constantly keeping an eye on the beaver and collecting some materials um, in the process. Another check in with the beaver and it's about 50% torpor so uh, I think my timer is off because I'm not accounting for the time it takes uh, to regen the torpor so I'll probably be able to come back uh, every, I don't know, just to be safe like every 12 to 15 minutes or so. Uh, but once again, we need about 2000, so that's going to be about, I don't know, what is that? 50, about 50 narcotics. Go ahead and put those on them and just hope that this thing tames up soon, but it's only at 20%. Um, and so it's, it's still going to be a while. So there was this beacon that spawned over close to my base. So I'm going to go see if I can, uh, grab it. Um. I don't know, it's gold, so it's sometimes there's good stuff in there, sometimes there's not. Uh-oh. That is an Alpha Raptor, I think. It looks like he's kind of beat up already. I can get him. Uh, my RG, uh, I've been leveling health and melee, so I'm not concerned about my RG getting hurt too bad. Um, and my melee should be able to take him out fairly easily. Yeah! 72 raw prime meat. Uh, yeah, the alpha raptors typically on a normal server give quite a bit of raw prime meat. And on this one, obviously with uh, the gather rates uh, turned up a bit, it, they give more. So, let's see. Journeyman flak chest piece. That is nice. And a blueprint for apprentice chitin boots. I'll take it. Awesome. That chest piece is going to be really handy right now. I think I'm just using hide. So, that's going to, like, oh my goodness. Ten times the armor. The hide one is giving me 20 armor. This is giving me 215 armor. That is fantastic. 
Suckers! Here with another check-in on the beaver. Um, it's, it's what, what did it say? 36% tame, so checked in not too long ago. Uh, I did refill its torpor a little bit ago, but I had to come back and unload all the dinos for uh, collecting all the stuff. So I figured I'd come in and check again. Let's see, less than a thousand, so maybe like, uh, say like less than 25. Um, just to get it back up there and man this is um, definitely gonna take a while for sure but it's definitely gonna be worth it whenever it's done oops sorry um, so this is my little train I've got going on for collecting uh, stone and stuff I've got the Triceratops I've got saddlebags which was a parasaur I tamed and um, have been using him for carrying stuff, and Ducky, which was, I think, the original Parasaur that I tamed. And then Mav is just following trips uh, as kind of just an Overwatch, just in case something bad comes up and uh, we need to take it out. Just another update with the beavers, about 44%. Uh, it's been another <laughs> long while it seems like, but another 10 or 15 minutes or so. And its torpor was down about, I don't know, to 25% left or so. And I just went ahead and dumped some narcotics on it so you can see its torpidity is, is coming up and it's gonna go fill it up. Uh, meanwhile, uh, as you saw in my inventory, I've just been collecting stone mostly um, with our little caravan of dinos to help carry stuff back. Just back for another check-in and beaver's getting kind of low. Let's see, that means I probably need at least 50, which will get it 2,000 torpor. And then maybe half of another 25, something like that. That's close enough. That'll get it for another little short bit. And we, let's see, how far are we? being tamed 76 percent uh seems like this is taking forever well i'm sitting here i'm waiting for that uh, beaver to tame up and i was thinking you know i could build some things around the base and so a couple of things that would be handy would be a fabricator so i need oh man cementing paste crystal metal we have the metal we have the oil i can make the spark powder pretty easy so we're going to need a fabricator, um, and the reason I want a fabricator is uh, I want to, to be able to build some of the more advanced stuff like the industrial grill and eventually the industrial cooker, although those take quite a bit of materials. And uh, so just 
I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find enough stuff here to make a fabricator and then um, we'll put one up quick check up on mr. beaver he's 86 um, percent gonna just go ahead and throw a few more narcotics on him just to make sure he's stays knocked out okay guys the beavers at 98.5 percent hopefully it's gonna tame soon it has been a long couple of hours of me checking back up on this guy uh, quite frequently, it seems like. And hopefully he's about to tame. Um, and hopefully I'm not just teasing you and saying he's about to tame and then it's still another 20 minutes. Oh, 99.5! He almost made it all the way! And now we have to wait for one more bite. Yes! Finally, we have a beaver! Oh, that team was so long! Oh, I don't know if y'all noticed, but the team percentage was something like uh, 80 some odd percent, which was kind of expected with us doing measure berries. So he's tamed out at level 214, which is awesome. Um, he's really going to be helpful for collecting and gathering everything. And just gonna put him on pa her on passive. I sh need to start calling her her. And I didn't give her a name yet, so we'll have to come up with a name for her. She is gonna help us a ton with this base build. So keep following me. I'll go ahead and take Mav back to the base. We'll see if we can gather the stuff to um, make her a saddle. Welcome to your new home. Oh man, guys, so I learned the uh, Castoroidus saddle, which is the beaver, and it turns out I've got all the stuff uh, except the cementing paste, and I even think I have that over here in one of the bins. 100, 200, because I think it's like 140 or something uh, cementing paste to make one of these things. So I'm going to make it. Yes, I got enough for it. So let's go ahead and craft up the saddle. Come on. Sweet. Go ahead and get the saddle. Let's put the saddle on. And for this beaver, I'm just going to pretty much be leveling weight straight up because it needs to be able to carry a ton of wood. And they get a, a bonus decrease, I should say, for uh, carrying wood. So normally a stack of wood uh, weighs 50 um, when you're carrying it. And when the beaver's carrying it, I think it drops by like 75% or something. Um, something awesome. So so the beavers a lot, uh, can carry a bunch more wood uh, per weight stat than um, you can, which is awesome. So let's take it out and go chop some wood. It looks a little bit derpy how it runs around uh, with its flapping tail, but I think it's kind of cool. Wow, getting like 140 wood per, uh, per attack. That is awesome. That is so cool. Alright, so you see, oh, it, I guess it drops the, the wood by uh, 50%. So a stack of 100 is 25 on the beaver and 50 on me, which is just cool. So it means that I can gather a bunch of wood with the beaver and a lot more than I could gather by hand. It also collects berries and I think some thatch. Yeah, there's some thatch that comes with every swipe of a tree, but... Uh, mostly we're going to be using this guy to gather all the wood for uh, building up the base. Well, we collected a bunch of wood uh, using the beaver. Just one trip worth and uh, a couple stacks of thatch. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use all the stone and wood and thatch that I've collected so far and just make a bunch of stone foundations and just start uh, upgrading our base here. 
So I moved some of the dinos around, kind of gathered them towards the center. And my plan is to try to do the outside edge first, um, because that seems to be the ones that are probably most vulnerable to dinos uh, hitting them and destroying them. So I'm going to go ahead and try to um, get that outer edge done. And I don't know if I have enough. I didn't actually do a count. So we'll see how this works out. quite have enough uh, to get around the entire edge. Um, there were a couple places where, like here where I did the corner that I could have gotten away with not doing and then we would have had enough but oh well uh, it's only going to take a couple more to finish out that edge and then I've got all this wide area to fill in with stone foundations. There's so many uh, but I think I'm going to wait to do that until I've got um, a doid because that will make things so much easier uh, but for now this is gonna work and I'm liking that we're uh, kind of upgrading these and I'll probably do like two more just to make sure that that gets closed off oh man we had a great day we tamed ourselves up this awesome looking beaver yeah he's already helped gather up a bunch of materials Helped us upgrade a lot of those thatch foundations, get them upgraded to stone. And boy, he's going to be super helpful as we start upgrading this base and making it into an actual place where we want to live. And not just an open area that's made mostly of thatch. So, next time I'm hoping we can maybe find ourselves a doid. Uh, and then we can start upgrading this base, man. Because, wow. Gathering stone by hand is tedious. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to find some help there. But now we've got a beaver that'll help get us some wood so we can finish out the base. Oh yeah, I'm so excited! So, hope you enjoyed. If you do, please leave me a thumbs up, guys, and we'll see you next time.